Magic Garden is a three-day festival event for adults with intellectual disabilities and their family and friends. What it's really about is offering people new experiences and the chance to try out new things like drama workshops, music percussion workshops, dance workshops and lots of live music. What it's also about is showcasing the talent of the people with intellectual disabilities that we work with the DJs and the VJs and also the band Electric Dreams that perform on the night. It's about giving them a, a platform to show the wider community what we're up to and the talent that's out there. This entire installation is made by people with intellectual disabilities in collaboration with local artists from Galway and they've been working together on developing, creating, designing and, and finishing everything you see here tonight over the course of eight weeks. We had a rainstorm that built up, um, turned into kind of thunder and lashing rain and then drifted off into the distance. So that's what we were doing. And the rainstorm sounded particularly gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, they took to it really well. I think it's a great idea. And I mean, you can just see by the number of people who've turned up, I think that's probably sort of says quite a lot about the demand for it, the fact that people like it. So I think it's a great idea. Club Gardenia is a celebration of the local music scene and also a showcase of the high quality music being produced by people with intellectual disabilities. The idea came about a few years ago when Electric Dreams played a night that I was running called Kitto and it was just a really, really beautiful gig and I stayed in touch with Andrew from That's Life and two years later we have this beautiful event. Club Gardenia is important because it celebrates the local music scene but it's also inclusive and um, showcases the fact that people with intellectual disabilities can contribute to that music scene as well. Club Gardini was my favourite night. It was fantastic to meet the local bands because we wouldn't have the chance to go to the Roaching Dove to see them. Everybody said that they loved having the choice to go to three days doing some country music during the day and then doing Club Tropicana on the Friday night. There's not really a space where people with disabilities can really express themselves or, um, and in a big way, not in a patronizing way, in, in, in a little bit here, in an hour, no, a day where they're the center of the whole thing. And this is three days about them, you know, for them, with, with them, which I think is very important. And it's a place where they can feel themselves that they're part of not of just the community of people with ID, but of the broader community of artists. That's where I think is the great achievement of, of that life.